بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I seek refuge in God from Satan the accursed in the name of God the beneficent the merciful Almighty God has said in the Holy Quran this holy verse of Quran is about the conquest of Mecca <coughs> the conquest of Mecca and how the Holy Prophet behaved in that conquest either the words of the Holy Prophet or the actions and the measures that His Holiness took in that conquest They all represent exceptional virtues in the in the entire history of humankind. It could be said that it is a unique part from the history of the Holy Prophet of Islam. I would like to unfold only a portion of it. And I would like to address this to the cultural activists, the experts, to study the conquest of Mecca considering the atmosphere and also taking this story from reliable history books and then they can also represent this part of the Prophet's history to the entire world. This story is about Safwan bin Umayyah. He was a pagan tradesman. And he used to trade guns, weapons, and he was a key figure in providing the supplies of weapons for the pagans. He was a pagan and a policist. For 20 years he fought against the Holy Prophet. His name came up in all, almost all the wars against the Holy Prophet. Sometimes he himself took part in those wars. He funded those wars, supplied weapons, even he gave money to the Arab poets to dishearten the Muslim army. He encouraged people to to assassinate the Holy Prophet of Islam in Holy Medina. It could be said that he was one of the few arch enemies who was so active in combating the mission of Islam and that of the Holy Prophet of Islam. He was a married man. He and his wife went to the Holy Kaaba and they decided that the that he would go to Holy Medina on the under the pretext of becoming a Muslim, holding with him a steel blade. He 
The plan was to go to Holy Mecca under the pretext of becoming a Muslim and then assassinate the Holy Prophet of Islam and then the man was ready to pay the assassin any amount of money he would require. He even promised that he would take care of the family if the man was killed during the assassination process. This person embarked on a journey to Holy Medina and he was holding a blade underneath his clothes. He visited the Holy Prophet in order to express his will to Islam. The Prophet was in the mosque, he was surrounded by the companions. He was just there to express Islam and then plan the assassination. But on his arrival, the Holy Prophet told him, take off that sword underneath your garment. The man was so surprised. The Prophet then told him, do you wish me to tell you what are your true intentions? And he even, the Prophet went on and told him about that secret visit with Safwan at the side of the Holy Kaaba. This person was deeply moved and he truly became a Muslim after expressing the testimonies of Islam. And he remained with the Holy Prophet. When the conquest of Mecca occurred, this servant of Safwan came to Holy Mecca and he actually searched for Safwan who had run away to the mountains. He came to the Holy Prophet and asked the Prophet to grant a pardon to Safwan because he was a man that supported the family of the servant for many years. He went after the man. And finally found Safwan. This servant told Safwan that the Prophet is an exceptional character. And he told him about the pardon. And Safwan said that if I can make sure that the Prophet himself has granted me pardon, I would accept it. But I doubt it because I was one of his arch enemies. Anyways, the man trusted the Prophet's words. I myself have never seen in history that this person has received any funding from Abu Sufyan and others for his supply of weapons during those wars against the Holy Prophet of Islam. Safwan could not believe his servant to be coming from the side of the Holy Prophet. And when the servant came back to the Holy Prophet, the Prophet gave him his turban as a sign of the truth of the pardon. The turban was taken to Safwan as a sign of goodwill and pardon. And then Safwan accepted the pardon and he went, he came out of hiding. He didn't come very close to the Holy Prophet. He shouted, O oh Muhammad, this man says that you have granted me a pardon. Give me two months of time for me to think about becoming a Muslim. And the Prophet said that you have even more time. At the end, this man became a Muslim. 
Safan bin Umayya became a Muslim. And he was allowed to travel back to Holy Mecca to live there. And he was alive until the end of the ruler, uh, until the end of the reign of the Holy Imam Ali, peace be upon him. His son was also, the son of Safwan was also a Muslim. And he was a very loyal companion of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. The great Allama Majlisi has quoted some traditions from the Holy Prophet using the narrations and traditions narrated by the son of Safwan. This single story, the Prophet entered Holy Mecca and all the pagans were terrified. One of the companions of the Holy Prophet, without the permission of the Holy Prophet, of course, he went out of sight and shouted, we will kill you so many that you would pile up the dead bodies on the streets. Because, you know, the pagans in Mecca had imposed so many wars and damages and losses and casualties on the Muslims. However, when the Holy Prophet of Islam entered Holy Mecca, he never imposed the religion of Islam on anyone. A person like Safwan, if we read the history of Safwan and his actions against Islam, either when the Holy Prophet was in Holy Mecca or when the Holy Prophet traveled to Holy Medina, <coughs> his actions are very unprecedented and you see that how nicely the Holy Prophet treated and behaved with this man. Why doesn't the world know about these stories? There are many Shia TV channels, many Shia outlets. <coughs> there are hundreds of TV outlets that are working to propagate Islam. The single story of Safwan can become a movie and this would surely move the entire world. It would awaken the fitra, the conscience of humanity. We see that billions and billions are spent on making movies to disparage the picture of the Holy Prophet of Islam. We have to counter these media works. We need to be part of this work to counter this media campaign against the Islam. The Holy Prophet is an exceptional character, not just in, among the Muslims, but also in the entire history of human, humanity. Even those people who actually opposed the Holy Prophet, those arch enemies, were moved by the Prophet's great morals. We need to introduce the Holy Prophet of Islam to the entire world. I hope that God Almighty help all of us in this path. May God bless Muhammad and his pure household.